Hi guys, Wargames Guru here and welcome to another video tutorial. This one is on the power assisted loader number 17. A power assisted loader is the kind of vehicle that you need if you want to move heavy munitions, fuel tanks, set up depots, off world etc. These things would be spread throughout the uh, Imperium of Man used by both men and alien forces should they be captured. So how do you put one together? Well, this video shows you how. So the kit is made up of 16 parts. It's tough, durable PLA plastic. Now in the kit you have eight leg parts, three body parts, four arm parts and a roof. It all fits together quite intuitively, but let's go through it step by step, just so we get it in the right order and make it easy for you. Okay, because we're using PLA plastic, we're gonna be using a glue called CA. You'll know it as super glue. It comes in thin, medium and thick. We'll be really be interested in using the medium one. Thin's a bit too thin and thick we just don't bother with. It's good for filling gaps. So, PLA will stick really well with CA or super glue. The normal poly cement that you would normally use on plastic kits will not work with um, PLA plastics, so don't use them. You can also use an activator with the glue should you need to, but to be honest with you, 25 seconds or so and the super glue should bond almost everything instantly. Now the only thing you have to do is prepare the surface for the super glue. And the way we do that is we lightly sand the, the mating edge. So that's any edge that's going to be glued to another part of the model. So lightly sand it. If it's a flat part, lay it on a bench and rub onto the sandpaper just to rough it up a little bit to give it that feel in your fingers that you can just feel a little bit of an edge and you know that it's ready to go. Once you're like that, you can start bonding together and the super glue will bond uh, the two parts of PLA together. So put some PLA onto the part you're going to bond. Make sure you get plenty on. Then use, using the other part, move it around. You've got about 10 to 15 seconds before it gets too tacky to move. So take your time, make sure there's glue on both halves. Give it a little bit of a blow, let it go a little bit tacky. Line her up and stick it down. Most CAs will work in about 20 seconds work time where you can still pull the model apart. After about 35 seconds to a minute, you'll find it difficult to remove the part. So make sure you've got the lines all lined up in this time to make sure that it sticks properly. Once you have, it'll be solid. So while it's drying, keep the pressure on nice and firmly until about 25, 30 seconds has passed. If you need to, or any problems, use the activator. But like I say, you shouldn't really need to use an activator when gluing PLA. There you go, that one, that part's already stuck on. So now we can get onto the second side and continue to glue the model together. So once both parts of the body are together, we can move on to the legs. The legs are quite straightforward. They have a back and a front. So on the back, you have to attach the two studs. The studs are the same size as the top part of the leg and the middle joint on the leg. Line them up so there's a lip around them, as you can see in the, what I'm doing here. Still moving it, still able to work it. As soon as it's lined up, just squeeze it on and hold it until it dries. Let's say it dries pretty quick and there shouldn't be a problem. And you can see you've made the correct um, distance around for that leg to fit into the body. Then do the middle stud. Again, just a little bit of CA, take the stud, pop it on. You've got about 10 seconds, 15 seconds or so to work with it. Once it starts to get tacky and you've lined it up dead right, apply the pressure and Bob's your uncle, Sally's your aunt. And there you go. That's one leg done, do the same with the other. Okay, so take a foot, take the leg, just make sure they actually fit. The slot should be a perfect fit for that. As long as it fits okay and everything's fine. Just hold the camera. As long as it fits okay and everything's fine, then you can just take the leg uh, and pop it straight in with some glue on it. Don't put the glue into the foot because it can come squirting out. Stick the glue onto the bottom of the leg and then slide it in place. Again, you've got 10 to 15 seconds or so to play around before it goes off. And just make sure that the leg is lined up and it all fits nicely. So slot it in 
and leave it to dry. Do the other leg and you've got two legs ready to go. Okay, moving on to the arms. The arm's got a center, a stud on the end of it, which will take any of the tool parts. Now you can get buzz saws, you can get drills, and you can get these which are pallet forks or grippers. So, straighten up. So basically, you remember in real life that everything doesn't have a completely symmetrical look. Tools that are used um, will often appear to be at an angle. They'll be left by workmen at a different angles. So don't just do everything in a straight line. Now, the way this move moves, it would move left and right, in and out. So try to think about how you want your uh, power assisted loader to look. Um, you can get them with the forks in and out, but at the moment these are set to take the barrels that are making the range as well. So that's why I like this particular size. So add some super glue to the end stud and let it go tacky. Add it to the other side of the, uh, in this case, the gripper and then line them up how you want them to look. Hold it in place. Again, you've got 10 to 15 seconds or so and then hold it in place for a good 30 seconds because this is a little bit of a smaller joint and you don't want it to come loose. Apply pressure and just hold it in place and you'll have no problems at all. So on this arm I'm doing it sideways so that I can carry barrels etc or um, boxes and on the other arm I'm going to do vertical so that they both don't look the same. Remember you don't want them looking the same, you want a bit of variance to add a bit of interest to the model. Do this with both arms and allow them to dry properly. Okay, so it's time to attach the legs to the body. So take the body, uh, place some glue into the two, uh, the two holes which will hold the legs. Make sure you get a decent amount of glue in there, not too much that it comes out. Take a leg, pop it in, make sure there's glue on it, and then kind of set it in the angle that you're looking at setting it in. Hold it with your finger while you place the other leg in. And again, you've got 15 to 20 seconds. Now, when you've got both legs positioned like this, stand the walker up on the table and then alter the body while holding firmly the two legs together. And then you can get the angle that you want to, to uh, set your um, walker at. And I, I'm gonna use the pilot here just so I get a bit of an angle. There we go, that's where I want it. So I'm gonna hold that in place now and let that go off. Once that dries and they're held in place, it's time to attach the arms. Now the arms have got two flat areas and there's two studs sticking out the side of the top part of the body where the shoulders are. So put some glue on the top of the arm, line it up to the body and then simply hold it in place until it dries. Now this is where you need to set the angle that you want. You don't want them both sticking out forwards, you don't want them both sticking up in the air, you want them to be a little bit different unless you've got a special model carrying something in particular. Just hold it in position, keep the pressure on while it dries. Again, you've got 15 seconds or so to play around and then it should be dried after 30 seconds. So you can see there, that's all you do, hold it in place. So next we'll go on to the second arm and you'll notice that I have put the forks at a different angle and I'm also going to have this arm slightly lower than the other arm which will give it a lot more interest in the model. Like I say if they were both identical, symmetrical even, it wouldn't look quite so interesting. And um, like I say in real life workers tend to leave things in all sorts of crazy positions so give it a little bit of difference, give it a little bit of a look and it makes it much more of an interesting model makes it almost animated. Hold that firmly against uh, the other arm and you can see that uh, that's drying quite nicely. Now once it's dried all that remains to do is to pop the roof on. So the roof will fit straight on top into that nice uh, area there. There's no real um, sort of lines for it or anything. It's obvious intuitive where it goes. It just plops straight on top. So a little bit of glue down the edges and then lay the roof on top and uh, that's it. The model should be built.
Well there you go guys, there's the PAL 17 built and ready to be painted. There is a painting tutorial for this which should follow this video. Should you want one of these models, they are available from eBay and there's a link in the description of the video of where to purchase this model. Like I say, there's something different, they're a good bit of fun and uh, they're just a little bit different on the tabletop and um, hopefully they'll be a bit of a head turner. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it easy. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave in the comments below. Please subscribe and like, and uh, look back for more how to build videos in the future. This is Wargames Guru, signing out.